Hello, long time no see. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're doing something different. Uh, recently I just kind of got the bug to start making a model kit, uh, model kit sets. And recently I got my hands on the HMS Arc Royal um, that comes with a bonus uh, tribal class destroyer. It's Ravel. It's a level four difficulty. And uh, the box uh, comes with, uh, you know, color color code at the bottom there. And, of course, you see the picture of the destroyer and the aircraft carrier. Uh, it comes with sprues when you open it. And it comes with this nice, easy-to-follow color manual. Very nice. Oops, sorry. Very nice. <clears throat> easy-to-follow instructions roughly about 10 or 15 pages or so and comes with sprues you know uh, i think it comes with five or six sprues but right now i'm pretty much three quarters two thirds two thirds three quarters of the way through as you can see so far i have the destroyer finished almost finished still needs some odds and ends um like so and I'm almost pretty much almost done with the aircraft carrier. Uh, keep in mind, this is like my first uh, model <laughs> in probably 15 plus years. First model I ever built was the USS Missouri 1 to 525 scale. This one's a 1 by 700, 1 to 700 scale. And, uh, Mainly, I went with one by seven hundred because uh, they're smaller and easier to store away. And uh, I have some complaints. Uh, this Ravel apparently was from a very old uh, mold, I think dating back to the '60s. And when I put this uh, aircraft carrier together, there were a lot of gaps and spaces in between each panels, so I had to fill it up with putty, and you could kind of see there. There's some putty along the water line here. It's a messy job. Again, this is my first uh, model kit in 15 plus years. So, but overall, I mean, besides those little flaws, I mean, uh, I did what I could. And uh, I made the mistake of putting uh, cement directly from the tube to the, uh, to the panel edges. I used tester's glue like this and uh, what I should have done is um, instead of putting the tube directly onto the model set which is the first mistake you shouldn't have done that I should have done that I should have done a kind of a pull and used toothpicks like so just any flat toothpick like so here I've got my little tool sets toolbox but yeah anyways what I have done so far uh, the Ark Royal what I went with it you know it's one of those important capital ships in naval history it was the first capital ship um, built by the uh, Royal Navy uh, designed from the keel up as an aircraft carrier uh, the first aircraft carrier in the Royal Navy, I believe, was the uh, HMS Argo, or is it the HMS Hermes? I don't know. Correct me in the uh, comments section. It's one of those two ships. And uh, I'll probably put it in the notes, too. Uh, this was actually pretty fun, despite some of the uh, mold flaws and my uh, rookie mistakes of putting the glue you know, directly from the tube to the plastic that's a big no-no i should have applied should have applied it on the toothpick and then you know rubbed it along the lines and then connected it that way but yeah you know it is what it is uh but so far yeah all i need to left to do is uh, add some uh, uh wire towers or cable towers add these cable towers to the ship and uh, add some of these planes. I'm going to paint, pre-paint these planes and 
uh, put them on there. Oh, one of my biggest beefs against this model kit, uh, they gave me the, uh, in the kit, uh, the, I guess these are either skuas or barracudas, and uh, they should have come with the uh, swordfishes, which are uh, biplanes, you know, the same biplane uh, that helped um, hit a, you know, struck a torpedo into the Bismarck during its hunt for the Bismarck. And the Ark Royal was one of the famous ships that helped hunt for the Bismarck uh, in 1941. But, yeah. Anyhow, got a ton of kits that I have left to do. Oh, and you might notice here, woohoo, I upgraded. So, hopefully, uh, this will make things easier once I assemble the final pieces to the uh, carrier. But, yeah, uh, I'm almost through. And I'll do another video. Uh, but, again, another rookie mistake. I had to put some putty on here. And, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a way to fix it. So, yeah, when I put this destroyer together, oh, man, huge, huge uh, spaces, uh, big holes along the uh, hull here. So, <sighs> not my best work, but overall, I mean, you know, it's it's my first kit, you know, in, the, in a long time, but uh, one of the pieces broke off, too, trying to connect to the main mast and I just 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 gave up and threw it away so uh, part two will be coming up and uh, hopefully the kit will be finished and painted and fully assembled but yeah this is the first part of the video and I hope you found this interesting and I will check back with you later and uh, see you soon